Terrifying moments caught on camera in Yellowstone National Park as a hot pool explodes, sending boiling water and debris high into the air. One Southern California family witnessed the hydrothermal explosion firsthand. Imagine standing at the edge of Yellowstone, marveling at the beauty of Old Faithful erupting into the sky, unaware that just beneath your feet lies one of the most powerful supervolcanoes on Earth. This isn't just any park. Yellowstone sits on a ticking time bomb that has the potential to devastate entire continents. So, with recent scientific discoveries raising alarm bells, is it time for the U.S. to shut down Yellowstone National Park for good? Stay with us to find out the actual details. The geothermal wonders and hidden threats. Fascination and fear, thrills and chills, shock and awe. Visitors at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming had one unforgettable experience Tuesday morning, witnessing a surprise eruption, something scientists call a hydrothermal explosion. Run, 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 run. Everything was just fine. The water was blue uh, and calm when we walked past it, and within seconds, it became a huge explosion. The skyrocketing blast of rock, Yellowstone National Park is famous for its stunning geothermal features. Places like the Old Faithful Geyser, which faithfully erupts with a plume of steaming water every 90 minutes, never fail to awe visitors. Then there's the Grand Prismatic Spring with its vibrant rainbow-colored waters that look like something straight out of a fantasy novel. And let's not forget the numerous hot springs and boiling mud pots scattered across the park. These natural wonders are what make Yellowstone a must-visit destination for millions of people every year. The US government shutdown means that non-essential services such as national parks will have to close. No tourists at Yellowstone might mean peace and quiet for Yogi, but it's bad news for business owners who rely on tourists for their trade. If the government shuts down, we're gonna give it either 24 or 48 hours to see if it opens back up. If not, we'll have to close down. But what most people don't realize as they admire these beautiful sites is that all these geothermal features are powered by something much more ominous lurking beneath the surface, the Yellowstone supervolcano. Imagine an enormous, restless giant lying just beneath your feet, a giant that's not asleep, but merely biding its time. The magma from this supervolcano is what heats the water in the geysers and hot springs, creating the incredible natural displays that draw crowds from around the world but that same magma also presents a very real danger. The supervolcano. Water and steam forced tourists to scatter in all directions, running for safety, not knowing what else to expect. Clearly the panic wasn't enough to keep them from grabbing their cell phones and recording this volatile natural phenomenon. <laughs> The March family of Palm Desert, California was too close for comfort. Recent studies have revealed that the Yellowstone supervolcano might not be as dormant as we would like to believe. Scientists have been closely monitoring seismic activity in the park, and what they found is a significant increase in small earthquakes, known as earthquake swarms. These swarms are like the volcano's way of stretching and shifting. And while they don't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent, they do suggest that the magma chamber is getting more active. Welcome back. We get some brand new video just into Fox Weather to show you. Look at this. A Yellowstone geyser suddenly exploded. Boiling water and rocks rained down, damaging a pedestrian boardwalk. This happened at the Biscuit Basin geyser around 10 a.m. local time. Thankfully, bunch of folks around. You could see them on the boardwalk. Nobody was hurt. According to the USGS, the Biscuit Basin parking lot and the boardwalks. In addition to the earthquake swarms, scientists have also noticed that the ground in certain areas of Yellowstone is slowly rising, a phenomenon known as ground deformation. This rise in the ground level is caused by magma pushing up from beneath the Earth's crust, creating pressure that could one day lead to an eruption. And as if that weren't enough, there's been a noticeable increase in the emission of volcanic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which are often a precursor to volcanic activity. 
are now temporarily closed. So yeah, nobody was hurt, but I think it's more than can be said about that little portion of the boardwalk off in the distance. Geologists are investigating what exactly happened. The scientist in charge with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory says this is not connected to volcanic activity, which is often associated with the park. It's a, a big time volcanic hotspot. And to really grasp the magnitude of the threat Yellowstone poses, we need to take a step back and look at the history of its super volcano. This isn't your average volcano. This is a super volcano, one of the largest and most powerful on Earth. Yellowstone has experienced three major eruptions in the past 2.1 million years with the last one occurring about 640,000 years ago. These eruptions were not just your run-of-the-mill volcanic events, they were catastrophic on a global scale. The occurring things that happen in this country happen right there in Yellowstone. So yeah, incredible pictures. We'll keep an eye on that situation. The most recent eruption created the Yellowstone Caldera, a massive crater that spans a large part of the park. This eruption was so powerful that it blasted ash and volcanic material high into the atmosphere, spreading debris over vast areas of North America. The impact of such an eruption would have been devastating, with the potential to alter global climates and cause widespread destruction. The fact that this supervolcano has erupted with such force in the past means it could do so again. And this brings us to the present. Recent findings have shown that the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is becoming more active. The increase in seismic activity, along with the rising ground and elevated gas emissions, are all indicators that the supervolcano is far from dormant. While scientists don't believe an eruption is imminent, the fact that the magma chamber is so active is a cause for concern. Should Yellowstone be closed? What just happened at Biscuit Basin in Yellowstone National Park? Well, this is a classic example of a hydrothermal explosion. Not a volcanic eruption. This was not triggered by volcanic activity. If it were, we would have seen many different changes. Lots of seismicity, ground deformation, gas and thermal emissions. Instead, this was caused by water flashing to steam in a confined space under Black Diamond Pool. When that happened, kaboom! If Yellowstone were to erupt again, the consequences would be nothing short of catastrophic. We're talking about a volcanic winter where ash and volcanic gases would block out sunlight, causing global temperatures to drop significantly. This could lead to failed crops, food shortages, and widespread chaos. The ash could cover large parts of North America, making it difficult to breathe and disrupting transportation and infrastructure. It's not just about shutting the gates to one of the most famous parks in the world. It's about weighing the potential risks against the rewards and figuring out how we prioritize safety, heritage, and economic impact. It could not contain the pressure anymore and there was a huge explosion. This sent steam and fragments of rock and mud several hundred feet into the air. That dark color of that explosion is from all of that debris that's mixed in with the hot water and steam. Some of the rocks that fell out were three feet across, weighed hundreds of pounds, and grapefruit-sized pieces of rock landed a hundred feet away. At the time, there were no injuries reported from this event. On one hand, you've got the scientists who are seriously concerned about the risks posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano. They're not just worried about the occasional geyser eruption or a bit of ground rumbling. No, they're talking about the potential for a catastrophic event that could quite literally change the world as we know it. Imagine for a moment what would happen if the supervolcano erupted millions of tons of ash would be spewed into the atmosphere, darkening the skies, disrupting global weather patterns, and causing temperatures to plummet. This isn't science fiction. It's a scenario that's happened before in Earth's history. And the fact that it could happen again is what's keeping these scientists up at night. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. From their perspective, closing Yellowstone is a necessary precaution. The idea is to minimize the number of people at risk. Yellowstone attracts over 4 million visitors every year. That's a lot of people to evacuate in an emergency, especially considering the park's vast and rugged terrain. If something were to go wrong, say an unexpected surge in seismic activity that hinted at an impending eruption, getting all those people to safety would be a logistical nightmare. 
the park's roads are limited, and in peak season, they're already clogged with tourists. Add the urgency of an emergency evacuation to the mix, and you can see why the scientists advocating for closure are so concerned. They argue that by closing the park, we can eliminate the risk of a worst-case scenario where thousands of lives could be lost in the chaos of a natural disaster, environmental and ecological impacts. But then there's the other side of the argument, the people who think closing Yellowstone would be an overreaction. Let's be real, the idea of shutting down a park that's been open to the public for over a century is a pretty drastic move. And for what? A threat that, while very real, is also very unlikely to happen anytime soon. Most experts agree that while the Yellowstone supervolcano is indeed a ticking time bomb, it's not expected to erupt in our lifetime. So why close the park now when there's so much uncertainty about when, or even if, it will erupt again? The economic implications are another huge factor in this debate. Yellowstone isn't just a park. It's a massive economic engine that fuels the livelihoods of countless people in the surrounding areas. Local communities like those in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho depend heavily on the tourism dollars that Yellowstone brings in. Hotels, restaurants, shops, and tour operators all thrive on the influx of visitors, especially during the summer months when the park is packed with tourists. Shutting down Yellowstone would mean more than just a loss of a vacation spot. It would devastate these local economies, leading to job losses and financial ruin for many families. For these communities, the idea of closing the park over a potential threat seems not only unnecessary, but also reckless. The first thing to understand is that the immediate effects would be catastrophic. We're talking about an explosion that could destroy everything within a large radius around the park. The blast itself would flatten forests, obliterate rivers, and wipe out entire ecosystems in an instant. The sheer force of the eruption would be unlike anything we've seen in modern times, thousands of times more powerful than a typical volcanic eruption. The area surrounding Yellowstone would be turned into a barren wasteland, and any wildlife unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity would likely be wiped out. But the destruction wouldn't stop there. One of the most dangerous aspects of a supervolcanic eruption is the ash cloud that it would send into the atmosphere. This isn't just a little bit of ash that you can brush off your car windshield. It's a massive thick cloud of volcanic material that could spread across much of North America. This ash would make it difficult, if not impossible, to breathe, especially for people with respiratory conditions. It would also cause widespread disruptions to transportation, clogging roads and grounding airplanes. Power outages would be inevitable as the weight of the ash collapses power lines and damages infrastructure. And the economic impact? Devastating. Businesses would be forced to close and the cost of cleanup would be astronomical. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.